Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by ZebraCode. In this tutorial series, we are going to be working with SQLite database and the C programming language. SQLite is an embedded relational database engine. And in this video series, we will learn how to embed the SQLite engine in our program. In the process of using the C programming language with SQLite databases, we will download and add SQLite engine to our C projects. We will learn how to connect SQLite engine with C applications. We will create databases. We will create tables. We will work with table data. We will use different SQLite query and syntax. We will also design databases with multiple tables, in other words, work with relational databases and the SQLite engine. In terms of downloading SQLite tools, it is important to understand once again that SQLite is an engine that you embed into your project. So to download the SQLite engine, we need to go to their official website. We can follow this link to go to their official website or do a Google search to get to their official website. By following the link in the previous slide, I am now on their official website. You can also do a Google search to get to this web page. To do that, open a web browser and go to Google and do a search for SQLite download. Click on SQLite download and you will get a result page that looks similar to this. Click on the first link here, SQLite download page, exactly. It will take you to the same web page. When you scroll down, there are many download options. It depends on what you want to use SQLite for. As this video is about SQLite and C programming language, let's download this source code, the one that says SQLite hyphen amalgamation. I will do a separate video for C++ and SQLite. So now let's download this one here. Double click on it. It is downloading. Great. Now it has finished downloading. Now we go to where it was downloaded to on my computer, show in folder. Great, it was downloaded to my downloads folder. Find out where yours was downloaded to. It is likely going to be in your downloads folder as well. It is a zip file. Now we need to unzip it. Extract it. Great, now I have extracted it and I am going to rename it. Right click on it, rename. I will rename it to SQLite. All right, that is it. So now that I have extracted it and I have renamed it, I am going to drag this folder into my project. I have a folder here which I named C programming and it is on my C drive. You can create a folder for your project and save it anywhere you like on your computer. And inside this folder, I'm going to create another folder. I will name it my databases. Hit enter. Now I will open this folder and drag the other folder into it. So now I'm going to copy this folder which I have here, the SQLite folder, and bring it into this folder. Great. Now I can close this one. And this is the project that I'm going to be working with. I can also close these ones. Okay, and let me bring my folder up again. 
so this is the folder that i'm going to be working with and i'm going to open this one in my code editor you can use any code editor that you are happy with but in my case i will be using the sublime test code editor now i have opened the project in sublime test once again you can use any test editor for this task if i click here you will see my sqlite folder here now inside my databases folder i will create a file new file and i will name it members.c hit enter great now i have a file called members.c but before we do anything with this file let's quickly look at our sqlite folder we expand it here we have four files inside it share.c sqlite3.c sqlite3.h and sqlite.est.h because this is a c program that we are writing we will be working with this one here sqlite3.c i'll minimize this one now let's enter some code inside this file i'll add here include std io dot h as include standard input output dot h now let's add the sqlite library include double quotes double quotes sqlite forward slash sqlite three dot c what we are doing here is easy to understand because we have a folder called sqlite we have to add it in here and the header file we are going to use inside this folder is called sqlite3.c because this is a c application that is why we are using this version of it which is .c i am referring to this one here sqlite3.c But if you are using a package manager to add SQLite to your project or a code editor that allows you to add header files and source files, you would do something like this. Include SQLite 3.c. So in our case, because we have added it as a folder, so we need to use this option so i will delete this one because we don't need it now i will add int main int argc comma char G V turn zero semicolon. Now to test that our SQLite is actually working well with our application, let's print the version of it that we are using. I'll add a comment here. print sqlite version that would be print f sqlite 3 underscore lib version now let's save it and run it i am going to run it from the command prompt but you can run it whichever way you normally run your c programs i will open here cmd command prompt and now I will navigate to the location of my file I can copy the path from here copy this path CD to that path hit enter great 
and this is the path that I have navigated to through the command prompt. Let me move this one this way a bit. So the name of the file is members.c. So I'm going to use my GCC to run it. GCC space hyphen zero. I'll call it all members space members dot c. What this will do is GCC compiler will be used to compile this C file. This is output and the output file will be all members. Then the file we want to compile is members.c. So I will hit enter. Great. It was compiled successfully. Now let's run the file, all members, which is this one here. I will hit enter. Great. It was run successfully. Now it shows the version of the SQLite engine that we have just installed, 3.47.0, which means our application is working well with the SQLite engine. Now I'm going to close this. So now I'm going to comment this line out because I don't need it anymore. The next thing for us to do now is to actually create a database that we will be working with. To do that, I will leave a comment here, create a database. First I will add here SQLite 3 space create a pointer to it, I'll name it db, I'll create here another variable, now I'll create a variable int, and I'll name it con, which is going to be for the connection, now let's use the con variable, con equals sqlite tory underscore open, double quotes, double quotes, I will call the database student.db, comma, and let's reference that database, db, semicolon. Now let's check to see if the connection was successful or not. First, before we do that, let me quickly explain this one to you. I have a variable here called con. And now this variable con is being assigned this statement using the sqlite 3 underscore open function to create a database. And the name of the database is student.db. Here we reference this pointer db that we created. Now that I have opened the database, it's always a good idea to close it. Here, type in close database close database which database are we closing the DB that will be SQLite 3 underscore close DB semicolon now save it with this, we can run our application to see if the database has actually been created. Now I will save it and go back to my command prompt. Just bring it up again, GCC space half and O space all members space members dot C. Now I'm going to hit enter to compile it. Great, it was compiled successfully. Now let's run it. All members, hit enter to run it. It was run successfully. Now let's 
open our folder to check if we actually have a database there called students exactly here we have a database named students.db which means our code is working correctly now we have created a database and we know that it exists so let's do a check in case there is something wrong I will leave a comment here check connection if con is not equals SQLite okay f print we will use the fprint function here std a standard error comma double quotes double quotes cannot open database percentage sign s that will be a string the new line comma SQLite 3 underscore error message and the error message will be for the database DB return 1 is if there is an error message else F print standard error double speech mark double speech marks database open successfully semicolon and save it so what this check we do is if con that is this variable is not equal SQLite OK then print out the standard error cannot open database then show the SQLite error message for the database and return one as F print standard error database opened successfully now I will save it compile and run it once again let's compile it great it was compiled successfully now let's run it all members exactly here it says database opened successfully so this is one way you can add the SQLite engine to your C project create a database and check if the database connection is successful or not in the next step I will show you how to create a table in a database and insert data into our database table thank you for watching see you in my next video